The Brazil-India-China-South Africa summit has raised more curiosity and conversations around lifting off regulations that hamper the bloc's goal to create a new currency for the bloc. This new BRICS currency is expected to increase intra-trade between the nations, this particularly for small enterprises. We will continue discussions on practical measures to facilitate trade and investment flows. One of BRICS members, China, said in order for financial development to occur, the bloc has to cooperate financially with each other. We should deepen business and financial cooperation to boost economic growth. Development is an inalienable right of all countries. It is not a privilege reserved for a few. Meanwhile, South Africans on the street say they hope deliberations at the summit will positively impact them. Even now we do collaborate with the small businesses here around the country, so if it exposes us to other countries, it's going to be even perfect. Having the BRICS summit here in South Africa is what is needed to bring about a solution for the youth and the high unemployment. For what I have seen in my community, most of the unemployment is in the rural community. We need the likes of China to intervene. One of the high-level discussions at the summit focused on cutting tariffs that limit small farmers from BRICS countries from trading locally in South Africa, the enlargement of the BRICS bloc to accommodate other interested countries is seen as one of the tools that will escalate agricultural trade. You know, for me, the way I look at this BRICS bloc, Currently, the growth is, um, has been phenomenal over the years. When you consider when we started in 2010, um, the figures were below 10% in terms of us trading and making money amongst each other as the countries. But it has evolved and now it's closer to even 30%. As leaders of BRICS countries gather here in Johannesburg, South Africa, to delve into opportunities for the bloc. However, on the conference floor here in Santon, Johannesburg, the conversation is also around trade barriers, such as geopolitical tensions and the slowdown of the global economy. Wandi Swandengendo, Johannesburg, South Africa, Africa News.